This video is aimed at giving companies and organizations an idea of what you can expect if you take on a work placement student from the higher diploma in computer science. We'll start with Eamon Lester, who is joint course leader, who will give you an idea of what subjects and technologies students have covered. The higher diploma in computer science is an innovative and comprehensive two year program in modern software development. The course consists of nine modules and four on site workshops delivered across four semesters. In semester one, programming fundamentals is introduced via an accelerated course in a modern subset of Java. The emphasis is on problem solving and logical thinking skills combined with creative programming using animation tools and techniques. In parallel, we introduce web technologies, including HTML5, CSS, CSS frameworks, and application development in Java. Semester concludes with a JavaScript app development program in the cloud using a simplified Node framework. In semester two, we explore the principles of computer operating systems and networks with emphasis on Linux, IP protocols, and practical experimentation with IoT devices and sensors. In parallel, we undertake a comprehensive database curriculum, exploring relational databases in SQL in depth, coupled with an introduction to NoSQL. Semester three, we build on these solid foundations with a deep dive into secure full stack web application development. We do this in JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node, exploring MV star patterns, MongoDB, API development, TDD practices, and front end frameworks. This is covered in the context of foundational security principles, including basic cryptography, authentication, and threat modeling. Also, in semester three, we have a comprehensive treatment of developer operations, with emphasis on scaling, securing, and load balancing AWS applications and services automated using Python. Semester three concludes with an in-depth course on the React framework for front-end development. In semester four, the taught curriculum concludes with mobile application development in Android. This course combines programming in Kotlin with the latest thinking in modern programming languages and low-code backend services like Firebase. Semester four also sees the inception of a final project in which students can showcase their full range of skills they have accumulated to build innovative and exciting applications and services. Now, Callum Dumphy, joint course leader, will highlight the wider skills that these students bring to placement. So you've just heard Eamon describe the technical and digital skills students gain from taking the higher diploma in computer science. It's a program designed to be delivered online using our award-winning uh, state-of-the-art online delivery platform, TutorStack. Our students have been immersed in what we refer to as an agile semester consisting of four three-week sprints usually, followed by one-week retrospectives over 18 months. Transversal skills such as presenting and networking, critical thinking and communication, interpersonal and intrapersonal skills are all core to completing the modules on the program and are embedded in how the assignments are structured, examined and rewarded. The nature of the delivery of this program embraces the technologies used and is often referred to as the workplace of the future. But after recent events, we just call it the new normal. It's got remote working, video interviews and meetings, chat, peer-to-peer -peer streaming and web technologies and videos. Our students live on Slack and Zoom, home to our learning community and have practiced remote software development now uh, for over 18 months. All of this has fostered a community of students who can learn and work independently and remotely. These students are all mature students. They're already successful honours graduates from different disciplines and have taken this course while in employment. They made the decision to switch to the software development world and have now successfully reached the stage where they're ready to start work. They're coming to you with an applied practical knowledge of software development, embracing agile, Git, cloud, mobile, TDD and continuous integration and continuous deployment using the latest tools, frameworks, designs, and technologies. But essentially, they also have the transversal skills 
needed to integrate successfully into your environment, whether that be on site or remotely. And remember, our students don't return after placement. You can keep them on protecting your investment in them. We're delighted to be joined on this video by a graduate of ours, Bernard Thompson, who is currently working in Red Hat. Bernard shares with us the reasons why he's always happy to refer HDIP students to companies. I'm always more than happy to refer someone who's previously done the higher diploma in computer science course or, was, or who is doing the course at the moment. The reason being, I know you're going to get someone who is a really hard worker and who is extremely committed. And the reason behind that is it's a very intensive course for a two, two and a half year period. We are trying to balance work and life on top of the studies of this intensive course. So you know we are going to get someone who's just going to roll up their sleeves, take on something new to them that they probably have no experience in and just get stuck in and really want to learn it and do well in it, as well as embracing any new learnings coming forward, such as new technologies or anything. I'd highly recommend anyone that has previously done the course. And from a personal perspective, Bernard also outlines how the course has benefited him personally in transitioning into a career in tech. I was lucky enough to gain employment at Red Hat Waterford as a graduate app dev consultant halfway through doing the higher diploma in computer science course. And I found the course very beneficial as the transition to working in tech was very easy for me. This was because a lot of the technology stack that we covered throughout the course, I have touched at some point across as a graduate consultant and associate consultant. And it makes it much easier from day one going into a job and being some way familiar with what's actually happening within the workplace, as opposed to kind of not have an idea of what's going on. And last, but certainly not least, is Joan Mangan, our Work Placement Coordinator for our graduate ICT conversion programmes. Joan outlines the work placement process and the supports provided around it. This year, we have 15 students on the Higher Diploma in Computer Science who are seeking full-time work placements from June this year for periods from four to six months. In light of COVID, we understand that placement start dates could be later, but as long as they start before the end of the year, that should be okay. I also have five students from the Higher Diploma in Business Systems Analysis who are also seeking work placement, but these will need to start in June and for period of three months to finish before September this year. Work placements in both courses are scheduled at the end of the class period, so that students who go on placement may avail of extended contracts should an opportunity be presented to them. Work placement is a three-way partnership between the student, the employer, and ourselves and the programme teams at WIT. The student it's a fantastic opportunity to apply all of their knowledge and skills in a live workplace setting for the employer it's an opportunity to avail of the knowledge skills and competencies of these well-trained work ready students work ready because many of them have had previous careers i as a work placement coordinator will support the student and the employer through the work placement process I'm available to answer any questions or to deal with any issues which may arise through the placement period. I also arrange a one-to-one -one visit or a Zoom call with the student on placement and with their employer to check on progress. We are very mindful that in this COVID period that there are many constraints on employers and uh, the COVID situation has presented many challenges in terms of the logistics of taking on a student. However, if you wish to see any of our student CVs or if you want to discuss any aspects of the work placement programme with myself, please contact me by email jmangan at wit.ie. I look forward to hearing from you and just finally to say a big thank you to all the employers who have supported our work placement program since its inception in 2012. Thank you and I look forward to speaking to you sometime in the future. That brings us to the end. We hope you found this video useful. If you would like, please do feel free to reach out to Joan, as she said, on jmangan at wit.ie or indeed to any of the team. We look forward to hearing from you.